Hey guys, real quick before the video starts, uh, just ask you if you could hit that like button and subscribe. Hey guys, so today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to record using OBS Studio. And what you're first going to want to do is you want to run it as an administrator. Now the reason you want to do that is because if you just normally click it and open it like that, then the preview screen is not going to show up. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go over to Scenes, right click on that, click Add, and click OK. Then you're going to want to go over to Sources, right click on that, click Add, and then go to Game Capture. Click OK on that, and then what I usually do is I usually do Capture Specific Window. Now what this is going to do is when you open up a game or anything like that, it's going to show up in here, you just click on it, and it'll record that game. Let's head over to Settings, and in Settings, uh, usually what it shows up as is it usually is white like this, not the nicest on the eyes. So what I do is I change it to the dark. Uh, then we're going to go to output, ignore streaming because streaming, we're not going to do that today. Uh, recording, we're going to go here. So what I do is I record it to a USB. It's not the best way because it doesn't have a lot of space on it. I'm going to try and change that uh, like soon, but uh, I don't want to pick up all that space on my computer. Then we're going to go to MP4, and with the MP4, uh, it's, it's the best for me as with my editing software to use and it's the easiest for me to upload to YouTube. Now I'm going to use audio track because with my editing software I can't use multiple audio tracks so it's just easiest to use one for me. It's easy to use for OBS Studio to record gameplay with the AMD Advanced Media Framework. Now the reason behind this is because all you need to do is click high quality if you have a good uh, computer and Balance. Now, your computer doesn't need to be that good to record high quality, and everything should be set up once you click that. Then we're going to head over to audio, and uh, I use uh, 48 kilohertz, but uh, that's just because my mic is this quality. But if your mic is 44.1 kilohertz, you know, that's fine. Uh, let's just leave on that. Now, uh, keep it on stereo so it goes through both uh, headphones or headsets. And then uh, I keep this on default, and I use the Focusrite USB for my audio. Now going to video, we're going to keep it at 1920 by 1080, and uh, the resolution, the output 1920 by 1080 by cubic, and then 60 frames per second. Now that should be it. I uh, hope you guys have a good recording, and uh, I'll play some gameplay in the background to show you what it looks like. Hey guys, so when you head to a game and you start recording, this is what it's going to look like. 1080, 60 frames per second. Now, uh, I usually use hotkeys. Uh, the hockey I use is F9. It's really easy to use, nothing's going to be involved with it, so uh, really good to use. Go in here, everything looks good. Well, thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Oh, you touch my tra la la. Mmm, my ding ding.